Good morning, everyone. Uh, we thank you all so very much for coming out today. Um, as we move into the summer months and we prepare ourselves for um, our Independence Day celebration here in Clark County, uh, we just want to remind everyone that, you know, in recent years, the proliferation of illegal fireworks um, on the 4th of July has turned Las Vegas into uh, what some may consider a, a war zone, if you will. And here in Clark County, we've just received hundreds upon hundreds of complaints from many of our citizens. And we all have gathered together. Um, there have been lots of meetings. Thank you, to, um, thank you to the commissioners and law enforcement and a lot of staff have gotten together to try and figure out what can we do to bring safety um, to this particular issue here. And so we've all gathered together and we've said, you know what? Something's gonna be done about this. And so um, our residents um, should be put on notice that um, uh, this 4th of July, um, citations will go into effect. And um, we don't want anyone to be caught off guard. And so today, uh, we're here to talk about that. Um, we don't want to um, uh, be the Debbie Downers and take away any celebration from anyone. But we want everybody to have a good time. We want everyone to have a safe and sane time. How about that? But uh, uh, at the same token, we want our citizens to enjoy Independence Day the right way. And so uh, with that, thank you all for being here. And I'll turn the microphone over to uh, Commissioner June Kiliani. Thank you. Good morning. How's everybody doing? Well, as the commissioner said, about a year ago, we were trying to deal with, a, we had so many phone calls from police and fire to, that were taken away. And so we got together as a commission and decided to bring in the jurisdictions and take a look at how can we try to solve this by educating the public. So some of you might be wondering why we're making this announcement three months before the 4th of July. Because we know for many, now is the time they begin buying their illegal fireworks and start to stockpile them. We also know that once people build, uh, buy their illegal fireworks, which are not cheap, they are probably more inclined to start lighting them off early. So we felt it was imperative to act to get the word out early and to do it now so that the enthusiastic residents who won't be tempted to buy the electrical fireworks set them off and ruin Independence Day celebrations for all the rest of us, including their neighbors. There are a lot of new residents to the Valley and they may get the impression that from the previous 4th of July that fireworks of the illegal variety are legal. Let's make it very clear. They are not legal and they are not going to be tolerated anymore. Thank you. Commissioner Kirkpatrick. <laughs> it's all good. Um, really, this is an opportunity for all of us to work together across agencies across Clark County. Um, as we know, illegal fireworks has continued to get worse and worse as time has gone on. And this is our opportunity as a community, this is a community problem to address it together from one end of the valley to the other end with the collaboration from the state, from the tribes, from our local jurisdictions um, to ensure that safety is our top priority. This year we'll have a campaign and it will say, you light it, we ride it. And that means to everyone that if you take the chance and you light an illegal firework, we're gonna write you a ticket. What it also tells you is that we're serious. We have to do something today. We cannot keep putting this off. Um, safe, safe and sane fireworks are very important to our community. A lot of nonprofits use those as their way. We encourage people to go out and to support those nonprofits at the same time remembering that illegal fireworks do more damage than good. This is also an opportunity for you to not call 911 or 311 but to wait for us in the future, we're gonna launch a website to go with this so that we have a better way to track all of the illegal fireworks. So thank you for the opportunity to allow us to get our message out and you to our community members. What I would tell you is please go back to your stations, go back to your employers and tell your own employees, please don't support illegal fireworks. And at this time I'll introduce um, Councilman Black. Thank you, it's an honor to be here today uh, to talk about this very important initiative. And I'd like to talk a little bit about the primary factor that's driving this illegal fireworks crackdown, and that is our concern and focus on public safety. In our country, reported in 2016, there were 11,000 medical injuries treated at hospitals. That's an alarming number, but what's more alarming is about a third of those are youth and children ages 15 and below, and a number of those are right here in Southern Nevada. Another uh, significant impact that illegal use of fireworks has on public safety is the, the fires that come along with the use of these fireworks. 
There are about 50,000 fires um, reported to um, fire departments throughout the nation each year. Uh, you take the fires, the injuries, and then you add to that the impact on pets, the impact on folks that are suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. All of these things combine together to cause a real um, problem and impact on our community's um, public safety. So we really would like to get the word out to our communities that we, we as jurisdictions, as municipalities, care about the, the citizens, we care about the safety of our children and our property, and that's the focus of this initiative. Thank you. Good morning, I'm Steve Sislak, and I just want to add a few comments to my uh, colleagues that went ahead of me. There are gonna be those in the community that doubt the sincerity of this effort. For those people, we want to let you know that we're more committed than ever to stamping out the I illegal use of fireworks and of illegal fireworks. In previous years, the commitment to enforce the law was not what it is today. This year, while the police can't be everywhere, they can certainly make their presence felt, and they will. If you light it, we will write it. No one wants their 4th of July celebration ruined by having to pay a $1,000 fine, plus potentially hundreds more in disposal fees. And if an injury or fire can be traced back to your illegal fireworks, then I would hope that a little jail time could possibly go along with those fines. I believe that if we all help get the word out about what we're doing, then Las Vegas can finally turn the corner on illegal fireworks. Please help us spread the word with this campaign. Tell your friends. Tell your neighbors. Shout it from the rooftops. You light it, we write it. Thank you. Hi, thank you everyone. I'm Chuck Calloway, Police Director for Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. And just from the public safety side, uh, to echo what was said by the commissioners and uh, councilmen, um, this is a huge issue for public safety and every year uh, the 4th of July is probably the busiest night of the year for law enforcement. We have all of our resources dedicated to handling calls for service and often uh, those calls for service involve everything from domestic violence, robberies, uh, shootings, and so forth. Um, but we also realize that this is a quality of life issue. And every year we have homes catch on fire. We have people get burnt um, because the fireworks explode in their hands. Uh, we have an, so many complaints that come in from citizens. Uh, we have animals that run away from homes because of the noise and the list of, of impacts uh, to public safety and to quality of life go on and on. And so we're asking for the public's cooperation to not partake in illegal fireworks, to use um, legal, safe and sane fireworks, to go to the events that are permitted uh, in the city. There's so many events out there that are permitted and run by professionals that there's really no need to engage in illegal fireworks. And from an enforcement side, as uh, was said by the commissioners, we will have, um, officers out doing enforcement this year and there's only so many of us and uh, we live in a valley of two million people so we can't be everywhere but uh, as was stated if we catch you do it and we write you a citation um, this this time around you could face uh, civil action for that uh, it could be quite costly and why take the risk uh, it's like playing Russian roulette so we encourage you to follow the law and just uh, refrain from using illegal fireworks thank you very much A great castle with Clark County Fire. So to address what is illegal and what is, uh, what's legal and not legal, to get a legal firework, you must purchase it at a booth at a uh, corner in a 7-Eleven lot, a grocery store lot here in Southern Nevada. You are, if you buy it from Mesquite or uh, Moapa Indian Reservation or, or Nye County, you're probably buying an illegal firework. So if it leaves the ground and it uh, makes loud popping noises like fireworks or M80s, those are all illegal fireworks. It should have stamped on it, says safe and sane, and especially safe and sane as approved by California. That's like the standard for safe and sane fireworks. Oh. And so to purchase uh, legal fireworks allowed by the uh, Clark County, it's June 28th through July 4th. 
There's a sticker or a stamp on there that will indicate that it is a safe and sane firework as of the state of California. There are some illegal ones sold at those other places I mentioned that have a safe and sane label on them, but they're, they're not allowed here in, in the state. Yes? Yes, the intent is to use, utilize the website to absorb the call volume. Last year we had problems with the 911 system being able to handle so many fire, fire and police calls coming in during that crunch time that it shut the system down for a brief time. We were very much backlogged. As uh, Chuck Galloway said, the police department's very busy that night, as are we, and we can't have any of those because communication breaks. We need emergency phone, phone calls to get through regarding medical emergencies, crimes in progress, and fires, and we need to, to redirect those non-emergent calls related to fireworks. Chief, could you talk a little bit about um, when things really go awry, what kind of damage these fireworks can cause, such as, I don't know, buildings catching on fire, people having to restore their hands or, God forbid, land on them. Can you tell us some of the things that you guys have seen over the years? Oh, yes, yeah, so a lot of things have come from the illegal fireworks. The palm tree fires, structure fires, brush fires, people holding them in their hands while they explode. There was actually an NFL football player years ago that was injured and he still plays today but he lost parts of his hand because of an illegal firework that he was using back east so they are dangerous in all capacities and they, we need to make sure that they're not out there on our streets what possession of these fireworks? i'm sorry possession of, these fireworks. possession of the fireworks and i can uh have and metro can back me up on that one but just the possession of those fireworks off of the tribal lands or out of nye county is illegal in clark county Any other questions? Back to the website. The website uh, will be unveiled later as we approach. Yeah, the website will be unveiled at a later time. So, all right. Thank you.